saw my last video linked here, then you got the gist of what the basics of starting a photography business looks like for you in 2023. But in this video, I want to break down some more of the specifics, such as the booking process, about how much I charge my first year in business, and also how I deliver the final images to the client. With the booking process, there's about six questions I ask before I send them a quote or a price. And that will be about how many photos they're looking to have returned, the length of the session or what they would like the length of the session to be, the approximate location or locations, any outfit changes, and if so, how many, what their time frame is looking like, and lastly, their return time. If they have a very specific return time, like they need it the next day, that's gonna be a little more pricey, but we'll get into that later. So how do these six things feed into how much I'm gonna charge them? For example, if someone only wants five photos, a 25 minute session, and is flexible on when they would like to receive the images back by, they're gonna be quoted a cheaper price. But if someone needs 50 images, two hours, three outfit changes, two locations, and they need them back within a week, that is going to be more higher ticket. So I personally do not have packages that I lay out, some other photographers do. The only time where I do have packages is for weddings and larger events. I don't love packages because I like to go on a personal quote basis. So I like to ask those six questions and then I'm like, okay, how much time is this gonna take me? Is it gonna interfere with whatever I have going on during this time of my life? For example, if it's the holiday season and I'm really busy or I have a high influx of photo shoots, you know, I'm gonna charge a little bit more. I kind of take all those details that they ask me and then I charge them accordingly. My first year in business, I did the same thing and I've been doing that since. So let's break down how much I charge that first year in business. Let's do an example of a grad session. Let's say I have one college graduate here in Charleston and she wants about an hour session, 25 photos returned, three day to one week time frame where she would like to receive the photos by. She's quite, quite flexible, no outfit changes, and one location. I would charge about 125 to 150 my first year in business. I never charged over 200 when I did have about two location changes in about two hours. I think I did get closer to maybe 250, but that first year in business I was still charging quite cheap for those types of sessions. So we went through the booking process and we went through how to come up with that price. So now combine the details that we needed, such as location, amount of photos, etc., and the booking process, how do those tie together? So we come up with that price, we deliver that price. What's next? Okay, they say yes. What do we do? We say, okay, well, let's book, let's figure out a time. Let's say we do March 23rd. I put that in my calendar and I do not require a deposit. Shocker. A lot of photographers do require a deposit. I only require a deposit of five to 15% on larger gigs, but for these smaller sessions, I do not require a deposit. If they cancel on me, there is no fee. I simply go with it. Like I said, I'm not depending on these photo shoots for my full-time income. If you are trying to make your photography business your full-time income, I highly recommend deposits, cancellation fees, everything, contracts. So basically my only booking process is getting that price, having them say yes, and then marking them in my calendar. Lastly, and a very important and not talked about step is how do you deliver the photos? So what I do is after I edit them in Adobe Lightroom, I will then create a folder on my MacBook's desktop. Organize your computer however you want. I usually put the date and the name and the type of session. So March 23rd, 2023, but like the number version in a grad. And that's what I do. From there, once they're exported out of Lightroom and in that folder on my desktop, I will open up Pixie Set in my Google browser and I will import them to Pixie Set. Pixie Set is a software that has a free version where you can deliver photos through a simple text link or email and your client can download them. What I do in Pixie Set is I turn on the feature to have a privacy pin. So this pin is like a secret password that only certain people can have to download those images. For example, if I send these pictures to Anna, the graduate, and it, she sends it to her family group text, but no one has that pin, all they can do is screenshot the images. If they really wanted to, they cannot download them. When they do screenshot them though, it will be poor quality. Another option you can have on Pixie Set is to put all of the final images on that link and then they have an option to choose 20 images or 50 images out of the pool of images that you did send them. I decide not to do this. I ultimately decide the best 25 images and I send them their way. You decide whichever one you like best. That's ultimately what you like and what works for you. What I've done has worked for me very well and there's no issue where someone's like, wait, I really like this one and I like this one. Can I get both? And it's like, sure. Or some people would be like, no, you can only get 50 or 20 or five. So I think having them see all of the images creates this like, well, why can't I get them all? She already edited them all. Like that kind of mindset. So I don't like to touch that. There, like I said, I will text them that link or I will email them that link. They will receive the photos, put in that privacy pin. Sometimes they ask for your email. 
so that one, I can know that they download them, and two, that if there's any updates or any issues, I have their email in there. And yeah, now they have their images. Sometimes people will put contracts in place so that people cannot re-edit their images or etc. There's a lot that goes with that. I do not have contracts in place for smaller photo shoots, like I said. If someone re-edits my image, that really sucks. Um, but as long as they're not putting my name to it, I mean, I, I'm, I, like I said, this isn't my full-time thing. If they don't, I mean, I hope that they spread my name. I hope that they tag me if it's not re-edited. I hope they don't re-edit it because I always say please don't re-edit them. But there is no contract because, like I said, this isn't my full-time thing. I think I've said that a million times. This isn't my full-time thing. I like to keep my side hustle very low-key, very chill, and just go with the flow. If I start putting in these contracts and all these guidelines and all these restrictions, I think it would stress me out too much. So ultimately, I kind of just wing it, and I hope it works for the best. Now, I do recommend that you have all your legal issues on your own standpoint. Make sure you have the licensing that you need to have. So I hope you like this video, and my ultimate advice when going into a photography business, stay chill. I think, any business, honestly, I think you can get very overwhelmed very, very quickly by what's on the internet. So my biggest piece of advice is remember, like, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> like, when I first started getting into my business and I was watching all these YouTube videos on how to start your photography business, everyone was saying I needed all this gear and all these softwares, and I was just like, what am I supposed to do? So, but honestly, I figured it out. That works for me. Everyone's business is going to be different, so if you don't do what I did on this video, that's okay. And if you don't do what your neighbor does, that's okay. Do what works for you and don't worry about what other people say. Just make sure you have all your legal issues in check because that's where it does matter. And if you want to check out my How to Start Photography 2023 video, go ahead. It's linked here. Um, let me know if you have any questions that I can follow up on and make more videos. I will have a video coming out if you guys would like what I actually do on a shoot, how to direct the model or the client. And I will walk you through that entire process from booking to delivering to on the shoot to everything in between. That was out of order, but that's okay. Um, but anyways, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe.